In this video, we're going to maximize an objective function, p, by solving a set of linear constraints. So this is a linear programming problem. So here's what I want to do. I want to maximize this function here, p equals x plus 3y. And the way that linear programming works is we have a set of constraints that we're going to graph. And once we graph those constraints, we find the corner points, or otherwise known as the vertices. Then we plug all of the vertices into the objective function, and the largest value that we get is the maximum, and the smallest one that we get is the minimum. So, what we want to do today is take our time and see how we graph each of these constraints. First thing I like to do is I like to find all my vertical and horizontal lines. So in this problem, there are only two vertical lines. X is greater than or equal to zero. X is less than or equal to five. So this first blue line here on the left is X is greater than or equal to zero. Shade everything to the right. And this second vertical line here goes through X equals five. X is less than or equal to five, so that would be shaded to the left. So we're dealing with solutions that exist now inside of this vertical strip right here. Next up is y is greater than or equal to 1 fifth x minus 3. The slope is 1 fifth. Rise of 1, run of 5, goes through the y-intercept of negative 3. <clears throat> so right here, here's 0 comma negative 3, up 1 over 5. And so because y is greater than or equal to, that's everything shaded above that line. So now we're between in this vertical strip and also above that line. And then the last constraint is x is less than or equal to negative x plus 4. So negative 1 is the slope, 4 is the y-intercept. There's 0 comma 4, down 1 right 1, down 1 right 1, down 1 right 1 down one right one, down one right one. And because y is less than or equal to, that's everything shaded below the line. And that gives us this nice, well, kind of funky trapezoidal region here. That's the solution region, or the feasible region. We now get the vertices, the corner points. And they are 0, 4, 0, negative 3, 5, negative 1, and 5, negative 2. Last thing make a table out of the ordered pairs and the objective function. So it's a three column table. Plug in the ordered pairs into this objective function and we discover that 12 is the largest value. So the objective function is maximized at the ordered pair 0 comma 4 which is this corner point right here. If this were a minimization problem, then the smallest number is negative 9, and that occurs at 0, comma, negative 3, which is this ordered pair right here. And that is an example of a linear programming problem. God bless you, wherever you are today.